So when it comes to videos and transcribing videos from various places on the internet, like YouTube, things can become a little bit hairy because there's a lot of AIs working in the back ends of these big platforms. And a lot of the times, whatever solutions we come up with to grab the video and transcribe the, transcribe the audio so we can create different types of content ends up in our automations being blocked. So the next best, best thing is to have the videos in a Google folder and just grab them from there and transcribe them uh, directly uh, away from these big platforms. So I'm going to show you a front end connection that is super easy and you can run it um, every day and all the videos will be transcribed and ready for you to use the transcription for um, emails, social media platforms, and so forth. So this is our automation. And as usual, if you want to grab the blueprint or any of my other blueprints uh, for make automations, come and join our school community. We're very helpful, very active. And not only you're going to get uh, my make blueprints, but you're going to get GPT templates, agent templates, and everything you need to know to launch and grow a successful AI business. Now, back to our automation, we are going to use Google Drive and we're going to upload our video into Google Drive. Now, if you don't want to use Google Drive, you're more than welcome to swap these modules with OneDrive or Dropbox or whatever else you're using for storage. But I find that uh, Google Drive is the most versatile. So I use Google Drive. So we're going to watch for uh, uploaded files and you will need to choose your drive and to select a folder. For this tutorial, I've only selected my main drive, but also keep in mind that um, a lot of people, and that's probably you as well, when they're creating videos specifically for YouTube, they would have a separate folder for each video. So in each folder, there will be a video file, maybe the thumbnail, maybe a, a document with the title, the descriptions, the tags and all that. But um, if we want to go into each separate folder each time, it could become a little bit more complicated and our automation will become much uh, longer, which we don't want. So you can have a temporary folder where you upload just the video file. And once you're done with it, you delete it that way. You're not going to clog up yours or anybody else's uh, Google Drive because video files could be quite big. Okay, so we're going to watch for this file. And then once we grab the file, we're going to download it something that you need to be aware of. If you're using a general folder, and yes, you'll be uploading all the video files in there, but if it's a folder where you're uploading other stuff as well, like in my case, my main drive folder has all kinds of different files, you will need to have some sort of a filter. And I've got this filter for you here, which is optional. If you don't uh, want to use it, you can just delete it. But basically we want to map out the uh, mime type which is video mp4 so i want only files that are equal to a video slash mp4 to be passed through my automation because if my automation if my trigger goes and checks every day for a new file i only wanted to use this first module because if there's no new video file i don't want it to trigger the rest of the modules and at some point to realize that it's not a video file and to stop. I only want to use one operation, which is for my trigger. So once we pass it through the filter or not, uh, we are going to download this file again with a Google Drive module. And all we need to do is map up the file ID, which is right here. Uh, then we need to actually convert this MP4 file, which is a video file into an audio file, which is an MP3. For this, we're going to use Cloud Convert. And I actually like Cloud Convert a lot because you can uh, convert a lot of different files into a lot of different files and it's quite cheap. So it starts at like you can buy a package for $9 if you only want to uh, use 500 conversion credits, which can take you a long way. 
if you, as you can see, there's a slider here that just puts uh, more and more credits. Once you get to a, a thousand credits, you can either buy it for $17, which is still crazy cheap, or you can subscribe to $9 a month. What I would suggest you do is to buy the thousand dollar package for just $17, use it and see how you feel about it. If you really like Cloud Convert, if you start using it for other um, um, for other automations, you can subscribe to nine, for $9 a month, which actually, as you can see, it's much, much cheaper per credit when you are subscribed. And it's a 0 0.009 cents per credit uh, with the packages 0 0.0117 cents per credit. But it's a great, great platform. And once you make the connection with your module, all you need to do is you can either use a download a file, which is easy, or you can map it and map it out with the data, which is right here, and the name of the file. The next thing we want to do is to, uh, is to set up our convert options. And you want to select the input format. Now, almost 99% of video files are MP4s. If you see something else like MOV or something else, you will need to select your input format. And by the way, if it's something else, uh, you need to make sure that it is, uh, sorry, not in here. It is mapped out in your filter exactly what it is. So back to our Cloud Convert, uh, the input format, it's a drop down menu and you'll just select your MP4. And then for output format, you need to select MP3. The next thing that is very optional, uh, and you may, if you're keeping your um, uh, files, you should name them. If you are just using them for the automation and discarding them, you don't have to do it. But basically, if you want to keep the file the same as the video file, the audio file the same as the video file. You just put the um, uh, squiggly brackets, then you map up the name, not a squiggly brackets, .mp3, and that, that will create an audio file that is with the same name as the video file. Now, one thing again that is optional, if you're, um, if you're transfer, um, sorry, if you're making really, really large video files into audio files, you may need to give Cloud Convert a little bit of time and you may need to actually add another module and that will be a, um, a sleep module. So if I go to uh, uh, the tools and I put sleep, uh, sorry, sleep, uh, you might want to put one of those um, uh, modules so you can give Cloud Convert enough time to actually um, convert the video file into an audio file. Once this file is converted, then the next step is to convert the audio file into actual text. So we can use the text to create various other pieces of content. And for that, we're going to use an open AI module, which is the Whisper module uh, model. And there's only one to select from, and you will, of course, select the uh, convert a file, which is the cloud convert file. You can map it out if you want to. Um, I've set that up as well, just in case you want to do it this way. You can map it up with file name and data here. And then my prompt is super, super uh, simple. I only say use the data, which is right here, to transcribe the audio. And we want this transcription as a, a JSON format. Now, sometimes it's, it hasn't happened with this automation for me, but sometimes when I ask for a JSON file, OpenAI decides to be funny about it. So it will put text before or after the JSON file. It may just put just the words JSON to let me know that it's a JSON file or something like this. If this happens to you, the easiest thing is to just continue this prompt and give it some restrictions as in um, do not write any text before or after the JSON file 
or just create a simple JSON file without any extra text or do not put the words JSON. So you kind of have to play it by ear and see what comes out first as a data. Because if it does not produce just the normal JSON file, it may not continue. So um, just a word of caution. The next module, which is a, a Google Drive module to delete the file is again optional. Now, if it's, a, um, if it's a folder that is just for these video files and you're storing the other audio uh, video file somewhere else that is specific, say for YouTube, you may not wanna clog your Google Drive or OneDrive or um, Dropbox with a lot of video files because as I said, they're really, really big and it may start eat into your storage. So basically this file, this module is to delete that file. And all I'm saying is delete the file with this ID here from my very first module. That's all I want. And once I'm done, I already have my text and then I have my router, which will branch out into different forms of um, content for email, for social media. You can also create um, images based on the text and all that. And before we finish with the tutorial, let's run it once and see how it performs. I'm going to choose where to start and choose manually because I want to select a video file to make sure that it runs through this automation. Here's one that should be fairly short and I'm going to run it once. As you can see, it passed through my filter. It checked if it's a video file. It downloaded the um, video file. Now it is uh, converting it into an MP3 audio file. Um, and as I said, if you find that you're running out of time here, you may need to actually uh, use the, uh, the tools in a sleep module to give it a little bit of time. Uh, also, sometimes you may have to create some sort of a, um, a error handling. So if it's giving you an error here, you may uh, just give it a break and then go back and try it again. But as you can see, it passed through it created my text and here is my text that I can use as, um, as anything I want. I can repurpose it into emails, long form, short form posts, uh, images and so forth. We already spoke about that. And then I deleted the file. So once again, if you want this blueprint or any of my other blueprints or any of my other templates, GPTs, or actually to learn how to create a successful AI business, make sure you click the link below, below and join my school community.